in this video, we're going to look at circles and the different pieces of circles, and then finally look at circumference. So the first thing is this, I'm looking at this big circle here as your circle book that hopefully you have created, and you can take and put all of these notes inside of that circle by opening it up and then you're going to see the full circle and then put this in. Now right here is going to be the fold in your circle book, just kind of a heads up on where everything's going to be at. Um, but the first thing I did is I just put the title of, of this section in my circle book and then we're going to look at the actual definition of a circle. And it's a locus of all points in a plane equidistant from a point. Now a locus, as you see here, that's just a set of all points that satisfies a given condition. Well that con given condition in this case is all these points, so every point that's in our plane that's equidistant or it's the same distance from a point. Now this point right here is going to be that center point which I put here. Uh, that would be on your fold. If you want to put it in the exact center you can, otherwise just get it close. The next thing is what it's referred to as a chord. Now a chord of a, a circle as you can see is, is a segment and what's special about the chord is the endpoints of the segments actually lie on the circle and that's going to be our definition. So I'm going to go kind of fast through this. If you need to push pause to be able to write things down, feel free to do that. My next one is going to be the diameter. Well, the diameter is nothing more than a chord that goes through the center. Next one's the radius and most of us know that the radius is half of the diameter um, but specifically by the definition it's a segment and notice that the end point is one end point is center and one point one end point is on the circle. Next is my circumference. So what I did when I actually made my circle book is I just highlighted the circumference with a highlighter, um, wrote my circumference, which is the distance around a circle, and then we have these two formulas, 2 pi r, or you can take and multiply pi times the diameter. If you look at this formula, 2 times the radius, well that's the diameter, and that's where pi times d comes from. Pi um, that wonderful number, approximately 3.14. It continues on forever and ever. The symbol, the little pi symbol. And then the last thing that we have to look at is just naming the circle. When you name a circle, you're going to need to know the name of the point that's at the center. So in mine, you know, in yours, you can pick whatever uh, label you want for the center. I'm just going to call it W for no particular reason at all. So the center is at W, then the name of my circle is going to be circle. So I make that little circle and then I put W. So I kind of make the O with a, a point inside of it. Probably try to make it look a little closer to the center than what I did. And then when you read this, that just says circle W. And that's going to conclude the lesson portion on circles.